Hey pharmacist, I've been doing pharmacogenetic testings for nearly a decade and today I want to talk about something that I've come across many, many times. Bupropion, also known as Wellbutrin, and how pharmacogenetics can impact its effectiveness. Bupropion is a widely used antidepressant that's also prescribed to help people quit smoking. But what many don't realize is that how well bupropion works and whether someone experiences side effects can depend a lot on their genetics. The key player here is the CYP2B6 gene. This gene produces the enzyme responsible for converting bupropion into its active form called hydroxybupropion. In fact, hydroxybupropion is more pharmacologically active when it comes to blocking dopamine and norepinephrine reuptake. Simply put, bupropion needs to be metabolized by this enzyme to become effective. And here's where it gets interesting. Some people have genetic variants in CYP2B6 that make them metabolize bupropion either more slowly or more quickly than average. If someone is a poor metabolizer, they don't produce enough hydroxybupropion, which can mean the medication isn't as effective. On the other hand, if they're an ultra rapid metabolizer, they may have higher levels of hydroxybupropion and could be at greater risk for side effects. Over the years, I've seen this play out repeatedly. Patients who have tried multiple antidepressants, including bupropion, sometimes struggle until their genetic profile reveals a CYP2B6 variant impacting drug metabolism. In those cases, adjusting the dose or choosing a different medication based on genetic insights often leads to much better outcomes. This isn't theoretical or something for the future. This is happening now. If you're a healthcare provider, I encourage you to consider pharmacogenetics for patients who may need more answers. And if you're a patient who has challenges with bupropion, it's worth asking your pharmacist about this testing. Pharmacogenetics allows us to personalize treatment, stop the guessing and start tailoring therapy based on who the patient truly is, not just what condition they have. When it comes to drugs like bupropion, this can mean the difference between treatment failure and success. I hope this helps you or someone else make an informed approach about your next treatment. If you'd like more pharmacogenetic tips, let me know in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye pharmacist.